is a mercy, and I have enough mercy to go around. Spider already taken down Ignar, and now the fight really erupts. Finn's gonna go into the GA, and Wallace joined the fray. Upset, trying to get away. Schalke find the flank, they find the fight, and they find the ace in the end. That's gonna be another kill for Caps. Turning it into a Reckless. All of a sudden, he goes back in. Reckless! Reckless is turning back around, though. That's so much damage. But look at the feathers. Reckless dances around everything. I think it will be a great chance for Revenge to play versus Fnatic, because last time I played on a big stage was then I lost 3 to 1 in the final. So kicking them out and not even giving them the chance to go to the final would be a great feeling. Honestly, every time we played against Schalke, it felt like there was something missing from them. And we'll see if they can bring that to Athens or not, because that's what I'm interested in seeing, because I think they can be a really good team, but whether or not they can bring that to the table or not is going to decide whether or not they have a chance. Odo is chasing. The Super Soaker will provide some slow. That's a good knockup from Puerto. Continues in away. Another good knockup from Puerto. Reckless is looking for upset. He's going to find it with the help of Nemesis. It's a double kill. Going up against Fnatic and Puerto, I don't think it's really that big of a worry for me. Even though his team got the better of us the last couple of times we faced the way we're playing right now, I think this time it won't happen. I think I've been through worse. Well, like down to half HP on the back line, but he's still alive. Abadage goes in, and Abadage goes down. But here comes Odo. He slices through them all. And Ignar's going to chase down Larson as well, like Wallet has already done. Larson tries to flash away, but it's a quadra kill for Odo. I think in the series against T2, we already showed that in terms of individual skill, we are all amongst the best in the world. When we can match G2 as well and take them to five games, we can definitely also win against Schalke. Well, there's the Ghost War to die, but you can't catch the Ragnarok. Just not enough damage. They got trick until the Unborrow. I really want to win and really be in the moment and uh, enjoy, because that's what you play for, right? When we enter the stage in Athens, we're going to have a six man on our team, and that's going to be the fans. The Olaf is very much about contesting the enemy jungler in the early game, using lanes with priority to fight 2v2s and 3v3s. Of course, we completely forgot about the Gangplank, the champion that was consistently banned away from Whippo when they went up against G2 last week. It is something that he is extremely comfortable on, can play. I would be surprised if they flexed it to the mid lane. Usually you will see the Karma because of how safe it is and how difficult it is for the LeBlanc. Out jungle pressure on the top side of the map. This should be a flash and maybe even a kill. Holding that thought, Odawamne. It's a big wave though. Playing Koi. Massive wave, Odawamne definitely has to be careful. We'll heal up off the Deathbringer stance. Now it's a TP Burns topside. Chalka can just walk away oh, here. To come out, which Fnatic is very happy with. It's like play happens ball. And the pull comes out, Cannon Barrage is the response. Good damage now going in onto Ignar. He has to be careful, the Ignite down too. Reckless stepping forward, burning slowly but surely. Back shield, but now in the mid lane. Has to be careful, LeBlanc locked up for a decent amount of time. Now needs to make his way out. Abadagi invisible, but the Predator is there. He's spotted the real target. Abadagi now walking away, finds him in the end. That first blood for Nemesis. And moving in, Nemesis behind him as well. Gonna be difficult to lock down a single member, but four members strong. Ignar are going to be on the flank. They don't spot this one out. TP now coming in, but Ignar going to the backside. There is no follow. -up. Eyes are instead are focused on the objective. They're going to grab it, but now Reckless in the midst of the team. Odawam on the backside. It's going to be a big Aatrox fight. Can Odawam they find it? Reckless is taking down Ignar. Crocs are now on their retreat. Odawam they can't get anything. He does manage to get a bit of a heal up, but it's not enough. It's a double kill for Reckless. Shalka are getting destroyed in the fight. And it's Fnatic that come out on top of the fight. Reckless TPing into the members of Shalka look dangerous at first. With his ultimate, who's in a safe spot. Oh, that goes the black, so it might not be enough though. Reckless now gonna get caught up, and instead they turn it in an instant! Shalka go into the meat grinder and come out much. 4,000 gold lead for Fnatic, and they just picked up everything. Shalka have not been able to find the early game lead. Ooh. No! He still manages to get the shutdown, but he wanted the Alistair there to back him up. But he wins, the only one still incredibly strong. The double for Trick. He says not today. He will find a chance for retribution in the game one. One more act. Not gonna connect. The fancy football from Hillsang. He's walking away. The binding connects. The TP's now coming in. They bit off more than they can chew. They will turn the play. But on the way up, the gangplank is gonna fall. Things are going in Fnatic's favor. See this dive in the bot lane one more time. No vision for upset. All he knows is he has a tower and cannot juke away from the binding right there, the chain CC. There's just nothing you can do. And then Fnatic go on to completely eliminate the plates in the bottom lane. That just has to be a tilt for upset. He can't auto attack in the last team fight. The second he gets oh, back to lane, to upset and look at bot lane. For the late game. They're gonna try and set up a kill onto Whippo, but look at the rest of the map. Two members of, of Fnatic top, two members mid. Oh, the flash out, some extra movement speed now coming in. They're gonna try to take down Whippo. They're gonna commit everything to get him down, and it looks like. 
they will grab him in the end. Whipple surviving for a long time, though. Means Fnatic is set up on the play on the top side. Trick now on a killing spree. We have to shift our attention top. Abadagi barely surviving, but look at this. Reckless and Hillisang are on the way. He's gonna try and teleport out it. of this. The TP out. With the cannon barrage to slow people down. Trick does not want to be on the side of the wall. Odawamane might be baited into the fight here, thinking that they caught out Baroxa, but there are so many members of Fnatic waiting in the wings. The entire team collapsing on the bottom side. The TP now coming in from Upset. Nemesis potentially caught out. Infernal Chains will not connect. Nemesis locked up. The third knock will connect. Upset now going in. They want definitely want to kill the Karma. The shielding still coming through, but the Ignite is there. No, not quite enough. The Black Shield Trick will grab yet another kill. Four for the Olaf in the jungle. And Shalka, the full survivable fight, but they're immediately going to disengage. They're going to pull back out with the Blue Trick. And Trick now moving in on the Whipple, but has to be careful. Will he be forced to use the ultimate to run away now? Else. Now trying to retreat, but Brox is in the way, and he's going to need to use the ultimate almost immediately. Getting into the extra movement speed, now forced to use it out, but he's going to get burned down. The jungler will go down in the end, and that means Fnatic can set Which there. is very crucial for the side lane matchup. He'll say wants it. The flash in, the support Magana is so aggressive, but Odawamne waiting for the Ignite to fall off before he commits any abilities, hoping to deny the healing. But the binding connects, that means Odawamne will fall in the end. Whipple going to grab that one. The rest of Fnatic immediately start the Baron. Abadagi can't leap in quite confidently, try to stop this one, goes forward, it does goes feel like they are a little hesitant, even though they have a lot of fantastic setup around it. And when you think about it, a lot of analysts predict the importance of momentum in this first game. Fnatic looking for a bit of that momentum themselves. They set their sights on Ignar, cut him through, and dead, and they will not take another risk here. Fnatic securing the Baron. They are not going to be contested here. Abadagi throwing out a bit of hope, but it will not matter. One inhib tower down in an instant. They're not going to commit for the inhib instead. Whippo now setting his sights on the top side. Abadagi now going forward. This is not the fight that they want to pick. Just looking to find an isolated member. The long force to retreat, but Brox is on the flank. Ignar has to debate. Where does his CC go? Upset though. Might just find the damage. That's the shutdown. He's so incredibly low. Reckless hasn't even entered the fight yet. Trick just gets deleted. The Zaya does so much damage. And Broxa sees blood in the water. He knows it's his opportunity. Ignar will not let it happen though. Punts him right out of the fight. Reckless won't find a kill, but upset just might. Nemesis now on the retreat. Both sides pulling off. It's a scattered fight. Fnatic though, keeping their eyes on the prize. I set on the base of Shalka. Banana get the flank and they win the fight. Upset cannot get back into the base. The teleports are coming through now for Fnatic, who already have the mid lane inhibitor. Top lane to fall after it, and now the next is the only thing left for them to take. Four Baron and Power Cannon Creeps. This has to be it. Fnatic barreling into the base. They take down one, they take down two. Shalka, that's all she wrote. In game one, Fnatic show up and they smash the competition. Strong game one performance coming out from Fnatic. I feel like that they adapted well in the draft. They were able to get themselves the gangplank in the end, and it felt like that they had a lot of safe laners.